today we are going to learn about the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, the Eiffel Tower. But first, we want to hear from you. Nine-year-old Christopher watched our sentence fragment video and said, This video helped me pass my test. That is so cool, Christopher. We're so glad it was helpful. Six-year-old Ayla from Texas said, I love doing science experiments. One day, I would like to do an experiment with dry ice. That sounds so incredible. Clayton, Chesney, and Carlin from Georgia had a joke and said, What do you call a magic owl? Houdini! <laughs> Get it? Who? <laughs> And finally, Miss Adams' second grade class from Nebraska watched our urban, suburban, rural video and said, We loved your video. We got all the answers right on your test. We learned a lot. Thank you. What an awesome class. That was pretty cool. Be sure and watch this video to the end to learn how you, too, could be featured on one of our videos. Well, as we mentioned earlier, today we are going to learn about the Eiffel Tower. We are going to have such a fun time learning about this amazing structure. The Eiffel Tower is one of the most famous structures in the entire world. Yeah, the entire world. It is made out of iron and is 1,050 feet tall. That's absolutely massive, and it's made out of iron. This is huge. Here's a picture of the base of the Eiffel Tower, and look how tiny the people look. They look like little baby ants, and this is just the base of this incredibly huge iron tower. Look how tiny they look, they look like little baby ants. This is such a huge structure. All right, so where is the Eiffel Tower? The Eiffel Tower is right here in the country of France, which is in the continent of Europe. Here is the French flag, the flag of the country of France. You can see that the flag has three vertical stripes, a blue stripe, a white stripe, and a red stripe. Now you might be wondering, where in France is the Eiffel Tower? Well, the Eiffel Tower is in Paris, the capital of France. Here is the city of Paris at night. Do you see the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> yeah, there it is, right there. It's kind of hard to miss, it's so huge. The Eiffel Tower, remember, is 1,050 feet tall and it looks like it's lit up. That's because it is. It's incredible, there are over 20,000 light bulbs on the Eiffel Tower, over 20,000 light bulbs so people can see the Eiffel Tower at night. Alright, so what's the history behind the Eiffel Tower? Why did they build it? Why does it look the way it does? Why did they call it the Eiffel Tower? What's, what's the story here? The Eiffel Tower was built to be the entrance for the 1889 World's Fair. Here is a poster they put up in France telling people about how the Eiffel Tower was going to be featured in the 1889 World's Fair. So many people were excited because the entire world was looking at Paris that day because it was the World's Fair. It was a huge deal. The Eiffel Tower was named after Gustave Eiffel. His company designed and built the Eiffel Tower, so they thought, well, let's name it after you. you know? Eiffel Tower, you know, Eiffel Tower. So Eiffel was an actual man, Gustave Eiffel, and he's the one that designed and built the Eiffel Tower, him and his company. 
So, they started building it in 1887. They needed a lot of iron, a lot of metal, and they just kind of heaped it in the beginning and they started building the foundation. This is a picture of what it looked like right at the start. These guys have a lot of work to go. <laughs> oh my goodness. That must have been so overwhelming. And then they finished the base. How cool is that? They're doing such a great job. That must have been so good to finish the base. And then they just kept working and working and working. Then they started building the middle section of the Eiffel Tower. Careful, we don't want to fall. It's starting to get really high up. Really, really, really high up now. Here is a picture of the last stage of building the Eiffel Tower when they were building the very, very top of the tower, which is called the Cupola. And then, after a lot of hard work in 1889, the Eiffel Tower was completed in time for the World's Fair. Are you ready for an Eiffel Tower fact? <laughs> I know, this video's been full of facts, but we're gonna share one that's really, 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 really interesting. Did you know every seven years the Eiffel Tower has to be repainted? Yeah, literally they have to paint the Eiffel Tower every seven years. And here's a real picture of a guy in the 1950s painting the Eiffel Tower by hand. Can you believe it? Look how high up this guy is. He doesn't even look scared. He's just like, la da 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 da. I'm really high up and I'm painting. I'm painting the Eiffel Tower. This is what I do. This is what I do. And he seems to be pretty happy up there. It's amazing. It has to be painted every seven years. Now, what color do you think they paint the Eiffel Tower? Here's a picture of the Eiffel Tower. What color do you think they paint it? Ah, that's a good question. The Eiffel Tower is actually painted brown. And there are three shades of brown they use, with the darkest shade of brown on the bottom and the lightest on the top. The Eiffel Tower is painted brown. So there you have it, the Eiffel Tower, an amazing brown iron structure that was built for the 1889 World's Fair and is one of the most famous symbols of France, bringing in millions of visitors every year who want to see this incredible structure. Thanks for watching this video on the Eiffel Tower. We hope that you enjoyed yourself and learned a lot of brand new things. So, you made it to the end of the video. You are awesome. Remember the kids' comments? We promised you we would share how you too could be featured on one of our videos. With the help of an adult, leave your first name, age, and where you are from along with a comment. You can share a joke, a silly message, or just share how much you love us. If you are watching this as a class, you can leave a comment too. Just share your teacher's name, your grade, and where you are from for a chance to be featured on one of our videos. We hope to hear from you soon! Thanks for watching this video! Click the button right in the middle of the screen to subscribe. Or you can watch these two videos. See you there!